Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can get A2P verified fast inside high level. Let's dive in. This has been a big problem. It's getting a lot better for people who are landing clients in the US because if you're not A2P verified and they're not A2P verified, you're unable to send SMSs out um, on behalf of them inside their business, which makes it really hard to do stuff like database reactivation and um, speed to lead stuff if you're offering these services like we are. So I thought it was gonna be a good idea to put a quick tutorial together with my tech guy, Graham, and he's gonna show you how you can go through this and get it done nice and fast inside high level. Enjoy and I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, um, welcome to this video on how to set up your A2P verification inside Go High Level. Um, now, I know I've done a video on this recently. Uh, this is an updated one. Obviously, they keep on changing things. So I just thought it's a very important thing for you guys to get right. I um, just so wanted to make an updated video uh, to make sure it's all good. Okay. So basically, um, there's a couple of things we need to do first. So if you haven't already got your number, you want to go get your number. Uh, and for anyone watching, this is just for people using US numbers. Uh, you can be anywhere in the world, but if you want to use a US number and text US numbers, uh, you do need to get it ATP verified. So I'm going to add a number. I'm going to pick, doesn't really matter to me, but I want a local, not, not a toll free. You can use toll free. I prefer locals because they're a little bit more native, whereas toll free numbers, I, I believe a few Americans have told me that, you know, it's just, it's, it's very, very salesy. So I'm going to go local. I'm going to pick this one. Um, cool. So then it can't be this. You need to register for A2P, which is fine. Um, now, what I'm going to go do first, I'm going to go to my business profile first. Um, this is where you want to update all of your um, information about your company or about your client's company. Um, so I'm basically doing this with the mindset that you're setting this up for a client um, for A2P so you can do the DBR for them or, you know, just SMS for that client. So you don't want to put, you don't want to put in your agency details. You want to put in your client's de details. So this is the friendly business name is what the, um, the, sub, the sub account's called. So you can keep that as what, whatever you want it, that you want to know it as. Um, the legal business name, this is where you want to put in your, client's name this is email uh whatever email uh they have or they they have, they were conversing with uh and you want to put in their business number as well um so i'm gonna go uh plus one like that um actually let's keep it uk uk Um, so thing to bear in mind, you can do this from anywhere in the world. So if you're in the UK, uh, you can put in um, your client's UK address. Uh, but if they're texting in America, um, they'll need the, obviously the American number. Um, so let's carry on. Actually, just for ease for you guys, I'm just going to do it as America. But if you're watching this, you can set up. A HP for an American number from anywhere in the world with that address from anywhere in the world. Um, it's a brand new domain. I'm not going to add that in. Uh, this is a website. Just put in your client's website. Uh, business niche. I don't necessarily need to um, sort that out. I'm going to press update that information. So that's updated. Then you want to add in an address. Um, so let's go. So that's Sunset Boulevard. Let's see, um, is it LA? Yeah. Is. This has to be 100% correct, by the way. It's just the American address that I know off the top of my head, obviously. Change it to the States. Let's see. United States. Um, and then obviously we're going to go Cali. Cool. Um, then obviously you want to set up your time zone. What's California? Oh, it's minus, isn't it? LA, there it is. 
cool. So that's all good. So I'm going to update that as well. This is all used within your brand um, verification for A2P. So I just like to get it sorted in business profile set, settings first because it just saves you a bit of time later on. And this is all stuff that you've just got to send an email and ask for the, the information from your client. So you're going to need um, their legal business name, uh, their business website, business email, uh, business phone, their business address, the legal business address that is on their kind of like um, registration papers. Then you're going to need an author, authorized representative, client first name, last name, and then and this has, this has to be the email of the authorized representative so I, I wouldn't be using like an info app i'll be using an actual one for an actual person then you're going to need to pick the, the job position and you're going to have to put in their number let's just put in this number update information <clears throat> then just a bit, a bit about the business uh, so you're gonna have to like find out what what this is so just ask them um most we work with are probably more corporation or limited liability company i'll just add that in um the business industry then you can kind of pick an industry that they're in <coughs> uh, whatever is closest um don't worry too much about that and before you put in this you want to select um oh sorry you want to click here now if, if you're in the us this is how you can register for a2p uh in the us or if you're in canada great britain australia india estonia um israel and romania these are the ones that are on offer at the moment um, but I believe if you speak to a higher level, they should be able to do it within it, anywhere in the world. For this purpose, I'm going to do it in the US, but this is how you do it outside of the US. If you're outside of the US and wanting to SMS US people, you can use one of these numbers. But I'm going to use this, the EIN. So then you've got to just pop in your client's EIN. Uh, just make that. Uh, and they should be able to tell you that. I'm going to say uh, so in US and Canada update information and that is everything you're going to need for the brand so the things that you need to ask your client for uh is the legal business name business email business phone business website legal business address uh that oh, the time zone isn't massively important but it's important to for your, for your account but not for atp um then you're going to need an authorized representative which is first name last name email job position and phone number then you're going to need a bit of uh, a, a bit of information about the business which is um, a business type you can fill out the in industry part yourself and then you're, you're going to want their ein or whatever number you're asking for them but for most of these it's going to be us based clients you're going to want to want to get their ein once you've, once you've done all that you can go back to numbers um and you'll have this thing here you need to uh set this up so i'm, I'm going to press start now if you just wanted to go there it's in the trust center but i'm going to press start now um so it says brand campaign. So we're going to go start registering. Um, now, is the business entity you're registering located in the US? Yes. Um, does the business you're, re you're registering have a tax ID? Yes. Okay. So we're going to press continue. Um, and now, see, this is all kind of filled in from the business profile. Um, so just to get this wrong, I'm going to have to pop in a, a proper one. Obviously, this won't, won't get approved because it's a fake business. Um, but we've had we've got pretty much every one approved within three to four days doing this. So you can see this is all good. So you just press continue, um, and then it has the business address, which again is all filled in for you. So you can just press continue. Um, authorized representative again. Um, you can press continue. Um, we normally go for uh low volume standard um a little bit easier to get through you want to acknowledge um so it costs 20 dollars to get it verified each time so you want to make sure you get it right first time brand is normally the easiest as long as you've got all the correct details that appear on the kind of like the register in inside the us or whatever or whatever country your client is in that you're registering um it will be fine but it's got to match that perfectly so do make sure that that happens um so we'll press continue on that 
that's the brand details done. Um, now we're coming on to the campaign details. So here's what we're going to do. I've got a template for you that you can just nick um, and use. So use case description. This is what we normally use for most of our DVR campaigns. So this campaign is sending messages to our previous leads to follow up on if they would still like the service they signed up, signed up for. They, are, they have already answered all the necessary qualification questions and we know they are interested in the service. Um, so that. Then we've got a sample message one. Now again, you're going to want to have you're going to want to amend this yourself, but we've got hi. Obviously, this is how we do it. Hi, um, it's your Android name. So we obviously are running a chatbot right now. If you don't know about this, uh, we've got a free course on how to build uh, an AI uh, chatbot for high level. Um, it's free, so you can go have a look at that. I'm going to pop it in the top left right hand corner. Yeah. You, you, right hand corner um, you can have a look at that and this is one of the messages that we send out the first message um, this is to re-engage databases so a client would give you um, you know 10,000 old leads that they have worked couldn't get anything from uh, basically got in the bin they give you those we put it through our AI chatbot and basically it spits out appointments from these dead leads that the clients had totally forgotten about and you get about 50% uh, of the sale of, of any sale on the back end or you get paid per appointment from these leads um, it's just simple money, really, uh, and and it works like a charm. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested, take a look at that. But this is um the first message. So obviously, you want to change it. Um, it must include the leads name, the business name, and opt out language. So client name is here. That's the the business name. You're you're, you're going to want to change this to whatever name you are. So hey, it's Sarah from Solar Limited. Uh, is this the same? And then Jeff, maybe Bob, whatever, their first name, who looks into getting, and then you want to change this service and product to solar or whatever you're doing, well, whatever your client's doing. So let's say it's for solar. It's, hey, it's Sarah from Solar Limited. Is this the same Jeff who looked into getting solar panels from us recently? Reply, stop to unsubscribe. That's the opt-out language. That's the, um, the lead name. Um, that's your name. And that's the business name. So this is all compliant. You just want to you just want to change these over. I'm just going to go back and go to the C. So quite simple with that that one. Then you want a uh, sample two. So this is the second message we send. So thank goodness my calendar uh, just pinged to give you a call, but I didn't want to disturb you. Are you still interested in service and product? Um, if I stop to unsubscribe. So that's. That's that. Um, this normally works for us. Um, so that's all good. And then we, you can choose whether or not you want to put these in. This message will include an embedded link. Um, uh, possibly, possibly it might do a link. So I'll just add in the link. I'm not going to include phone numbers. It will include phone numbers as well down the line for us anyway. So you want to do this for yourself. If you're not sending links out or phone numbers and you can uncheck these, uh, that's not true. Cool. So that's all good. So we can press continue on that. And then how do lead contacts consent to receive messages? Now, this is the number one reason why people fail their A2P is this bit here. Um, and there's certain things you need to tick off to make sure you get it um, correctly done. Okay. And this is gets us done every, every time. So it says end users opt in, opt in by filling out the form on this page. So this is the form page. Now what this page needs, it needs to have a form capture, which captures like at least first name, last name, email, and phone, or just first name, last name, phone. And it has to have a checkbox saying I consent uh, to like receiving messages from XYZ from your client. So ideally your client will already have this. If not, you, you can create them a page, but ideally they should have one of these pages and they should be getting their data compliantly because it's up to them to make sure these leads have been got compliantly. If you're using this DBR thing that we're, we're doing, obviously if you're not and you're pushing Facebook leads to here, uh, you may have to slightly tweak this, um, but ideally, I've tried to do it for Facebook um, as before as well. 
what AGP really need is a form page with a checkbox consenting um, or seeing where the uh, web page to see that there is consent there. So make sure you have one of these in there. Then I say users check a box to receive notifications of promotional messages to provide their consent to be contacted about, then you add in your service and product. Additionally, end users can also text start to your, and then add in your high level number, uh, which you've got in here. So you, you want to go and copy that. Um, then our privacy policy is here. So you want to make sure the client's privacy policy is there. Um, and our terms and conditions are here and you want to add in your client's terms and conditions page here. Now, using this, we've we've got loads through using this exact uh, messaging. The main reason that I've ever seen myself, uh, for for example, uh, get an ATP um, declined is because the form page isn't set up correctly with a correct checkbox consenting. So you've got to make sure that there's that form on there with a checkbox, uh, and also add in your privacy policy and um, terms and conditions. Okay. And then finally, the opt-in message, I just use the standard one here. Um, this is you successfully opt-in to receive notification of professional SMS from, you wanna add in the client's name, please reply stop if you need to opt out in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna press submit. Now I know this is gonna fail because obviously there's no data there at all, it's just templated stuff. Um, now, normally I hear back within three to four days, and normally it is a uh, tick, uh, incorrect. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, you just got to wait. Brand normally gets approved in about an hour or two. Very quickly, the brand is uh, approved because it's very easy to see or to match the data with the register. Um, the campaign takes a little bit longer. We normally see three to four days. Some people see a week. Uh, but normally, I would say these days, it's about three to four days to get your campaign approved. You'll get an email uh, from High Level telling you when it is approved. Um, uh, and fingers crossed it does. If not, pop, pop a comment below the video. Um, and maybe we, we can try and help, help you out and see why it's not. It will be normally, they'll give you a reason why it's failed under here normally. And normally it's to do with the consent. Um, that's the main thing that ATP really doesn't like. Um, uh, and yeah, if you are struggling, you can also join our AAA Ninjas on school. It's a school group, free school group to join. And there's loads of people in that community going through this exact same thing as you right now. Um, and yeah, if you join that, pop, pop a post in there, that there'll be loads of people who can help with how they've managed to get their HGP approved in a certain industry. Because as we know, certain industries are harder to get approved in than others, um, because either they're um, restricted or, you know, uh out, outright ban but yeah that's it for today guys thanks a lot for listening and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye, bye thank you graham i hope you enjoyed that everyone and i hope you're able to get up and running nice and fast with your a2p stuff if you did like this video please give us a thumbs up if you subscribe to our channel i'd really appreciate it so you can be the first to know when new videos like this come out and finally comment below if you've got any questions for graham we'll speak to you soon take care